Welcome back to my channel guys, it's me Aaron with another I Try video and this is going to be on me trying chips from the Philippines. I'm actually excited to try these two bags of chips and uh, rating them here for you guys, see how it goes. I've been doing some of these videos lately and hopefully you guys are liking them. Let me know in the comment section. I really want to know if you guys like these videos. If you don't, then let me know that too. I, I can stop that I can maybe give my time to something that you guys prefer. So anyways, these are called Jack and Jill's. That's the company they do them. And they're called Picados with each one having a flavor and they're from the Philippines. Before anything guys, if you haven't done so by now, make sure you go and um, subscribe to my channel. Give some love by commenting, liking and sharing and go and check out my other videos. I have quite a bit of I Try It videos already out. World snacks that I'm trying around the world, but also other videos on anime, manga and news as well that I'm releasing here in my channel. Now, first and foremost, I want to, <laughs> I want to, um, be very honest with you guys there's a sticker here in the back that says california proposition 65 warning cancer and uh reproductive harm that's about it <laughs> um apparently this has an ingredient that could cause cancer and could cause reproductive harm so i am still gonna eat them because i'm just gonna try them I'm not gonna eat a huge amount of them, so we'll see. I will say from the get-go, the bag, you can feel the bag, it's, you know, like most chip bags, halfway air, halfway chips. The other thing is when my wife saw these, she's like, oh, you bought Doritos. I'm like, no, these are not Doritos. These are something else. Um, so they look very much like Doritos on the bag. I have two flavors, nacho pizza and roadhouse barbecue. I think I'm going to start with the barbecue because that's probably the most familiar. I think both are familiar flavors, but let's start with barbecue anyways. It's kind of like the more American type. Um, it does smell like barbecue. It smells like barbecue Lay's, which is a good deal. It, they don't look like Doritos at all. They actually have their own unique... Are those hexagons? They are hexagons. Hexagon chip shapes. So let's just try it. Well, wow. Roadhouse Barbecue, again, is the flavor. These are actually really good. Um, they taste very similar to the Lace Barbecue flavoring, to be honest. Very, very similar. It's not as overpowering as the Lay's Barbecue. The Lay's Barbecue leaves you with an aftertaste. This one almost doesn't. This one leaves you with a potato taste, aftertaste, which is a good thing, um, I, I think. And they're actually not as um, as thin as uh, barbecue lays as well, which is probably why you're left off with that barbecue, kind of like um, that, that, that potato barbecue aftertaste instead of like the the flavoring barbecue aftertaste that you're left with the barbecue lays i will say um actually it reminds me more of the barbecue sprinkles that's probably what i remember reminds me more of really good i can see the uh, attraction to it um personally i don't understand why this flavoring is considered barbecue to be honest but being from texas this doesn't remind me of actual barbecue but oh well I should probably stop eating these because they do ca cause cancer and apparently reproductive harm. So, last chips, I promise. Okay. Oh, oh. Those last chips had a kick to it. Okay, cool. This next one is nacho pizza. And it has the same sticker on the on the back. Warning, might, might cause cancer or reproductive harm. I gotta clear that palette for this one. Another thing that I, I, I shouldn't never stop talking about is how thick the bags are compared to the American bags. I don't know why the American bags are so small, are, are so thin, but these bags are so thick. It's like double layered. Okay, these are nacho cheese um, picados chips.
like I said, pizza flavor, an odd flavor, but not so odd for Americans. We do have Pringles that people love. And these remind me just like that. Mm. Yeah. These are definitely basically ripped off. Either they ripped off Pringles or Pringles ripped off Jack and Jill. They have the same type of flavoring. And to be honest, they're trying to achieve the same flavoring, so that makes sense. But at the same time, it almost feels like it's it's the same chip. The only difference is different shape and a little bit more potato on this one. Cool. So, verdict means a short video. That's fine. The verdict is, well, you know what? I, I actually want to retract my, my comment on that because now that I tasted one of these chips, you can actually taste the pizza um, on these chips. Not a Domino's or Pizza Hut pizza. It tastes like a, you went to a small shop, you got this, you know, a little greasy pizza that has cheese and tomatoes and sausage and um, pepperoni on top. It tastes like that. It, that's what, that's the taste that I get. And that never happens with Pringles. So, because of that, I think these chips are a lot better. I think, personally, this, the nacho pizza is better because it actually reminds me of a pizza. And the Roadhouse Barbecue is better because it has a little bit of a kick to it. Um, personally, I would buy these if they didn't have the sticker in the back saying that I might get cancer out of them. Uh, but I would buy these frequently. Philippines, you did something good um, out of these chips. I, I, I know that I, I was going to like at least one of them because I love Filipino food. But I didn't expect them to be both better than what i have here in america so thank you guys so much for watching this if you haven't done so by now make sure you subscribe to my channel give some love by commenting and liking and sharing and i'll see you guys next time don't be strangers see you guys